Hey, what's up, guys? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Meta Humans creator that Unreal Engine or Epic Games just gave us a sneak peek of. Uh, it's this right here. It's pretty insane. Uh, I've never been so excited about a piece of software in a very long time. But this addition to Unreal Engine 4 is going to be crazy. I mean, these guys are CG characters. And um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and let's watch the movie first. And then we'll actually get into the free sample that they'll let you guys download in the Epic Marketplace. Jesus. Okay, so we just watched the video, and let me just go back. So, this thing, creating realistic humans, aren't, it's not a new thing. Uh, you know, Relusion has a character creator 3 that you could pretty much get the same exact look and the same exact quality. But what excites me the most about this is this is going to be built in, it looks like, in Unreal Engine 4. Now... I mean, I'm looking at the UI, and this looks like a freaking Sims creator to me. I mean, being able to create characters like a Sims creator, realistically, is insane. And the other thing that I'm excited about, as far as I know, when you create a character here, you can use your iPhone to pretty much do a facial motion capture because these characters have the morphs built in kind of like the kite boy that they released a couple years back now i don't know if this is going to cost anything i don't know that yet i'll guess i'll have, give you guys an update but what i'm going to do now is is go ahead and take a look and see um what these guys look like in actual engine all right so i have here is the sample file they give you guys in epic marketplace go ahead and download it if you can um Press G to get rid of all those icons, and this is one of the two characters that they let you guys download in. And as you can see, she's not real, she's CG, but this face looks really like photo scan. The quality is really high. And I think, I'm kind of guessing, because I made a tutorial about creating CG faces from deep fake photos pretty much merging using an app to merge two pictures to get a unique face now i wonder if these faces are going to be copyrighted or i wonder if these faces are actually ai generated like i showed you guys in my video if it is ai generated that means that this face is really nobody it's a generated face so you can pretty much create videos with it without having to worry about getting sued or anything like that so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and check out their cinematics looks like they have a cinematic here and i'm gonna go ahead and press play now they have audio but i'm just kind of scrubbing through it right now All right, and then they have, oh, here we go. So it's actually showing you the control rig. So this looks like the control rig that they released recently for 4.26 or revamped or updated. And this right here are the facial morphs that I was talking about. So it's showing you that there is some built in there. And if I get closer, you'll see some settings in there. So that's crazy good. That's amazing, all right? So there you go. Let's scroll through. And here's the other guy. Now I am kind of freezing in here. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this guy, which again, let's take a look at it closer. That quality is pretty darn good. That's insane. So I, I wanted to show you guys this in engine because sometimes whenever they make those videos, they tend to cheat a little bit because they add a lot of stuff. But this right here is a character built with that meta, uh, meta human creator. So no, this looks really good. It looks photorealistic. Obviously, if you go out, you know, the LOD is going to change. But if you get closer... That looks that looks fantastic, uh, but obviously I'm gonna be making a lot more videos about this in the future. Maybe show you guys how to connect it to your phone so you can do a facial mocap using the Life Face app on the iOS store, and then you know we'll go from there.